Okay, so we're back with Australian dollar USD currency pair. And remember, the Australian central bank has just cut interest rate. So the fundamental outlook for the Australian dollar is bearish. Okay, so remember now, before we trade, we have to go to the news feed. We have to identify the previous day sentiment, what was causing the previous day sentiment, what was causing the sentiment for the recent market session. So after you have done that, the next step is to go to economic calendar. Because on the 16th when the market was here, we were waiting for the market to come to a good price before we enter. And the good price is around this level where the moving average is, also where the Fibonacci zone is. And then we also have this past support level, future resistance. So here is a good price to enter the market. So we're gonna go to the economic calendar and we're gonna look if there's any fundamental announcement that's going to be released and then we're going to look to trade any good U.S. data that comes out against the Australian dollar. So if we get a good U.S. fundamental announcement, we're selling the Australian dollar in this region. Why? Because Australian dollar is fundamentally bearish. Okay? So we're going to sell the Australian dollar on any good U.S. data. So you would go to the economic calendar, for example, FX Street. So we're looking for US data or Australian data or New Zealand data because remember, New Zealand data affects the Australian dollar. Also, Chinese data affects the Australian dollar. So any of those data that comes out worse than expected, that's what we're looking to trade. And right around here, we have consumer price index, right? We have CPI for the US. And if this comes out better than expected, then we're gonna sell the Australian dollar right around right around 12.30 GMT. And as you can see, these results came out better than expected, so these are good for the USD. Remember, any good data for the USD is a good reason to sell the Aussie USD currency pair because the fundamental outlook for the Australian dollar is bearish. And right around here is when the CPI data came out. The market fell over 140 pips. Okay, so that's it. You remember, you draw your fib, you look for a good price. And a good price is near the 200-day moving average, pass support becoming future resistance, Fibonacci levels, pivot points. Those are good price levels at which you can enter the market. Here the market is again. If prices come, this is pass support becoming future resistance. So this Australian dollar can fall, but we would not sell this as yet. We will go to the economic calendar and we will look for a fundamental announcement that coincides with this level right and then we will look to sell the australian dollars and go for say 60 pips or more depending on the average daily range